Hi everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And let me wish you all a very happy Valentine's Day. Oh my goodness, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day with your significant other, whomever that may be. And I hope that you have a very special something planned uh, or not. I just hope that you tell the one that you love that you love them and that they say the same back to you. <laughs> Chris and I just got back from a lovely little lunch at uh, Longhorn. We splurged today and we had some of their Southwest shrimp. Oh my goodness, they were delicious as an appetizer. And then we had our regular soup and salad. <laughs> and we just got back here and I told Chris, I said, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video today here on Sunday because tomorrow we are heading off to visit with Candace and Maverick. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday and the daycare is closed and Candace is working from home, but we are gonna go help her out with little Mav tomorrow. So I can't wait, I can't wait to see Maverick. So I'm not gonna be here tomorrow to be able to uh, get a video in the can for you guys. So I thought I would go ahead and do it and I hope to get it up this evening. Uh, I don't have a ton for you here because we are kind of nearing the end of my decorating series, my blue and white decorating series. And you guys are probably going, gee whiz, it's about time, Marlin, for crying out loud. It's only taking you, <laughs> you know, a month and a half to redecorate your house after Christmas. But, you know, I, I kind of have spread it way out for you guys, you know, just to give us content and to give us something to chit and chat about, you know? So I believe I do have a few questions. I brought my computer over here. After I'm finished showing you what I'm gonna fix and to show you here, I will uh, go in and see if I have some questions. I know I have three and then I'll check to see if we have more. Uh, so what I'm gonna be doing, as you saw at the very beginning, here I am with my silver polish again, you know. Uh, I, I took some silver polish over my mom's beautiful silver tray here. I'm gonna try not to blind you by the light here. Uh, but this is my mom's beautiful silver tray that she told me, I asked my dad at Christmas, I said, Dad, do you remember this tray? And uh, mom told me that they used it at your wedding reception, he said, that's what your mom said. He said, that's what they did, but I don't remember that. <laughs> so he doesn't remember this tray. But anyway, that's what my mom told me. So we're going to go with that. So as I, I always usually have this sitting out. Boy, if I need a suntan, huh? Look at that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little silly today. Uh, I have it sitting out. Usually I have this sitting out on my grandmother's coffee table and that's exactly where I'm going to put it back and I'm going to do a little tray arrangement it's going to be very similar for those of you who've been with me you'll recognize this arrangement but I am going to put it back together after cleaning the you know cleaning the tray and cleaning up all of the little accent pieces so I am going to do that first and then I'm going to put a re reconstruct or finish reconstructing this uh let me pull it over here this tricycle or this plant it's actually a plant holder I call it a tricycle you know and I have some things in here and you can see the bow and I'm going to talk about this and put this back together again and this sits kind of between the chairs on the floor out there in the living room so I thought I would bring you along for those two little teeny tiny little crafts and then I'll put, turn my camera back around here and we'll and we'll answer those questions and uh then later in the week I think probably Wednesday I don't know about Tuesday, you guys, uh, if I can get that other video in the can, it'll either be Wednesday, Tuesday or Thursday for that one probably. Uh, Wednesday will be my last decorating video. I'm gonna be putting together Bella's two-tiered tray and showing you, revealing that end of the living room over by the bay window. For those of you who've not been with me and seen my house, I have a bay window that juts out the side of the of the house in my living room. So, and I kind of decorate in that bay window space. So that's what I'll reveal to you on Wednesday. And then I will be working after that, I'll be working on spiffing up this house and getting my home tour in the can. And that will be sometime between Friday and Sunday. You know, I'll bring you the home tour. Then after that, I'm not sure where we'll go. 
but we'll go somewhere. We'll do something, that's for sure. But regardless, let me turn my camera here and we're gonna put together this uh, tray arrangement and then I'll pull over this tricycle or plant stand tricycle kind of thing and we'll finish putting that back together and then I'll be back here in front of the camera again. All right, all right, let's do it. Uh, a lot of you, when I wear this lipstick, ask me about the color of my lipstick. I don't have that on today. And the color of my lipstick is Cherry Pop. And this is from Clinique. And it's Cherry Pop. And the, num oops, sorry. the number on it is 08. And if I can give you a link in the description for it, I will. But it's from Clinique. And I have a feeling they're having a good sale. Um, actually, Scott Singer, who uses their moisturizer, let me know that they were having a big sale and I've yet, I need to get back in there. I looked a little bit and I never ordered anything and I need some um, foundation. Regardless, y'all don't need to know all that. But anyway, you might wanna check Clinique out is what I'm saying, Clinique.com out because they might be having a sale. But anyway, anyway, I, I'm not sponsored by Clinique or anything like that, but a lot of you ask me about my lipstick, especially when I wear this or my Raspberry Pop. So this is Cherry Pop. Okay, here's this tray. Let's bring it kind of over here. So let me push my camera back a little further so I can get the tray a little closer to me. There we go. Now, uh, I don't have a lot for this tray. This is an old little white lantern. I don't remember Hobby Lobby. I got this from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I don't know when and I don't know for how much and I don't know whether they have it anymore. But we're gonna use it on this tray. And before I had this, this blue candle, well, let me tell you, boy howdy, you cannot see when this thing is on, ever. So I'm like, I am gonna put this somewhere else where I don't have to, where it doesn't need to be lit up. So I'll use that somewhere else. So I got one of these spiffy little candles. I got a set of uh, flickering flameless candles in all different sizes. Uh, they're linked in my Amazon shop. And this is one of the sizes and I'm just gonna put that. You can see the flame moves. It's very, they're very similar to Luminera, but not as, without the cost of the Luminera. So I'm going to put that in there, and that should be much better than that blue candle. And that is going to go right here in this corner. I'm going to turn it just a little toward me, right here in this corner. I'm not putting a bow on it. I'm not doing anything like that. Let me show you this. This let me see if I can get this off. I don't know whether I can do that. Yeah, here we go. This is a little teacup. Isn't that cute? It's, uh, they're attached together. I did not attach them. This is for decoration purposes only, it says. I got this at And That last spring, I believe, you guys. And, you know, when I saw the blue and white, I scarfed it up like crazy. Then I got it here and I was like, well, what am I going to use this for? I don't know. So I decided to make a little candle ring. And this is just one of those, you know, garlands from Hobby Lobby. Little, I don't know what kind, boxwood or whatever garland, I'm sure you guys know. And I just have it tied together with a little tie wrap. And I'm just, well, let's leave it out here for, well, let's leave it out here for a second and let me do a little arrangement in it. This is what I had kind of stuck with all of this stuff in the bin. And... I think this went in this little cup. So let me see here. Some blueberries. A couple of florals. I mean, big deal, huh? This is not, not hard. Just a little something something. And then more blueberries. And that's all I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy wild with this. That'll be it. Just a cute little arrangement. I kind of want to see the blue and white cup, you know? So you can as I sit it on here. So that is just gonna sit right there. Maybe a little forward from the... 
from the lantern and just kind of spread out the, the greenery. That way you can see the cup and uh, it looks cute. Okay. Now, I don't have a lot else to put on here, but I do love this. This is the bottom. This used to have a little glass cloche that went on the top. Well, the top of it broke. I was so sad because I can't find any little a little cloche like this. I don't remember where I got this. Probably and that or something like that. I know it wasn't expensive, but it was one of my little favorite little things that I had a little cloche on it. And it broke, so I was like, oh, I was upset, but what can you do? Things break sometimes. So I'm just gonna set that there. And because it's glass, I like because it's glass because you can kind of see through and see back to the, the lantern and I like that. But I like to have the white bird set up a little bit. I have no idea. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby actually. But these are all of these things are, are not new except for this little house. I did get this little house this year. So from Hobby Lobby and it has a little light in it too. So I thought I would put it kind of right, nestle this kind of right in the greenery, kind of like that. And then I just have this, and I believe that this is one um, that Danielle sent me from Cracker Barrel. She sent me like six of these, bless her heart, last year. And I think that's where she got it. And I'm just gonna set that right there. And I want the I wanted the silver tray to speak for itself, you guys. I think the silver tray is absolutely gorgeous. That room is a smidge more formal than out here, maybe a little bit. But regardless, I don't even care. I think I can combine the 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 subtle classic prettiness of this tray in whatever decor I would be using. I think this tray is timeless, and it speaks for itself. And It is very sentimental for me. So there we go. I think that that highlights it beautifully and that's all I'm gonna do with it. I think it looks pretty, just like that. Anyway, I love it. So that is that, you guys. So now let me bring over this tricycle here. Boy. And you can see, oops that I made, this is a funky bow, uh, made all out of the same uh, ribbon again. And again, Bobby sent me this beautiful ro roll of ribbon here. And I believe she says she's opening maybe tomorrow, you guys. So take a peek at perpetualribbons.com. Take a peek at her at her website if you're interested in placing, placing some orders. Uh, I think she might be opening back up tomorrow. I'm not sure. So, but anyway, that's where I got this ribbon. It's absolutely gorgeous. She, she gifted this to me. And so I made one big bow out of it and I think it looks beautiful. That is a funky bow. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like a nine loop. All done in the same though, in the same ribbon. With all the little tails. I think it's pretty. So I just have that tied on the on the handlebars there. And then this is a melamine plate from and that, and I just have it stuck in, and this is like a long piece. This is just one pick, and I just have it stuck in. And this is just a, a garland that I just have wrapped around in here and uh, kind of, you know, not anything difficult. I just kind of have it wrapped in here. So, Oops, sorry. Let's see what I did here. <laughs> okay, that's holding that in. So let me wrap this around again. I think I want a little bit of it hanging out this time. I don't want to cut it, but I would like some of it to kind of hang out a little bit like that. Okay, and I like the melamine plate because it adds a little interest. So I kind of like that kind of sitting back there, kind of guide. And 
these are the florals that I had in it. We are all crooked, aren't we? All right, you guys, here we go with Mr. and Mrs. Bunny here. <laughs> and uh, I made these bows up last year when I first did this little decor here. And as you can see, this ribbon matches that. This is a little wider ribbon than that is. This is only uh, one and a half inch. This is two and a half inch. And I think I had this ribbon left over uh, from another roll. And I just made him a bow tie and her a, a tie on, on her head. Look at that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna set what, you know, apropos for Valentine's Day here. So even though they're not dressed in red, they're dressed in blue and white, but that's okay. These were a couple of bunnies that belonged to my kids. Uh, they each had one when they were little. So I'm gonna snug them down here in this little, little wagon and they're gonna be taking a little ride. <laughs> together there we go then I'm just gonna add the flowers the florals back in and that's it you know that's it I didn't have a lot of florals in here maybe he gave her a little blue rose <laughs> Some blueberries, of course, because you know we have to have some blueberries. And there we go. Cute as a button, just very simple design, but just, you know, a little accent piece. I think I got this uh, tricycle plant stand at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, and it's gone through the seasons, except for Christmas with us, you know, on and off. So, and I keep redecorating it and redoing it. And again, another staple piece, what I call my staple, one of my staple pieces. For those, uh, let me turn my camera back around and I'll talk to you about staple pieces for a second. So let me move this over here. Looks like that ball is trying to travel. And let me turn my camera back. Okay. For those of you who might not know, I was a blogger, B-L-O-G-G-E-R, before I was a vlogger, V-L-O-G-G-E-R. And when I first started my blog, which was, I don't even know what year I started it, before I, obviously, before I was on YouTube, probably a year or so before YouTube, I uh, had to think of a name to call what I call, what I now call my staple pieces. And I came up with that name. I came up with, you know, I like to have staple pieces in my decor. In other words, things like this, this tricycle, plant stand tricycle, things like my ladder for my cozy corners, things like other trays and uh, other pieces of furniture and things that I keep in my decor and I redecorate and redecorate and I redecorate through the seasons. And I call them my staple pieces. And instead of me going out and buying new, something new to put, like for instance, between these two chairs in the living room where this little tricycle plant stand will sit, I just redecorate the, the tricycle plant stand and I put that right back in its place, but it looks different because I've redecorated it, you know? And that way I'm not going out and spending copious amounts of money on different pieces, nor am I having to store them, which I'm really working on. I'm really working on downsizing the amount of things that I store, even though I do have a lot. I have a ton, but that's one thing we'll be working on after I get done with my decor is trying to downsize my some of my bins get rid of things, donate things, or, or get them out of the house, you know? And I'm trying to lessen the load a bit, you know? That said, I have a good size house, so there are bins that I'm gonna have to keep, you know? And especially because I when I redecorate, 
I usually redecorate the entire main level of the house. Very rarely do I not. Patriotic, I don't necessarily decorate the living room and dining room. I just keep on this side of the house. But when it comes to Easter or spring or fall or Christmas, I decorate the, the entire place. Now, I don't recreate the entire wheel every time like I do for Christmas. But I do add to the, my blue and white decor. So, but anyway, I... I have really been able to save money through the years by utilizing and reutilizing and reutilizing my staple pieces, but just making them look different by the way in which I decorate them, you know? So anyway, just a little something, something about staple pieces there. All right, let me get my computer and let me see about those three questions. And I am looking forward to seeing little Mav. <laughs> Check him out in his little red osh gosh bagosh. Grandma Arlen got him those little red osh gosh bagosh overalls for Christmas and the little white onesie. Oh my gosh. Is he cute or what? Okay. Let's see here. Okay, here are the three questions I pulled off. Number one is from Nikki74. Uh, hi, Erlyn. I just wanted to let you know how much I enjoy watching your videos. It is what I look forward to every day after a long, stressful day at work. Oh, you take me to my happy place, decorating. I have a question. What made you and Chris decide to move into a bigger home as he was getting close to retirement? Were you looking to purchase your dream home? Love you to bits to bits to bits. Uh, hi, Nikki. <laughs> Thank you for all of your words there. Those are very sweet. Um, I guess so. I guess so. We'd worked really hard, saved a lot of money for years and years and years, and we'd lived in our other house for like 26 years. And we just kind of fell into this situation. And, you know, I, I just sometimes I think it's meant to be. I, I had come out here and I was just poking around one day. And I went into their model home, which was a home like this. Fell in love with the kitchen. Fell in love with the kitchen. And really liked the neighborhood. I'd been fam familiar with the neighborhood for a long time. Um, but uh, I just took a ride around the neighborhood and I went, you know what? I wonder if Chris would be interested in this. You know, because it was more acreage and all of that in this neighborhood. So I brought Chris over and he walked in and actually said, I really like this house. This is a beautiful home. Yeah, let's, let's see what they have to offer. Well, uh, so that did it. That's what made us go ahead and do this. This has given him a big yard, a big pallet with which to work. He loves working on his yard, on his flower beds, uh, growing grass, and making a beautiful space for us outside. And then it has also provided me with a place to entertain our family, mostly our family. I've really never had anything in here where I'm entertaining anybody but family because it's all about family for me, you know, uh, my immediate and extended. And uh, that's who we entertain when we have any anybody over, you know, is always family. Uh, but it also gives me the opportunity to have my dad and both kids and Maverick, all of them upstairs in this house, we have a main floor master. I don't have to climb the steps unless I need to. Uh, but so, and it was kind of our dream home, more for the acreage uh, than the size of the house or anything like that. It just so happened this was the model home that we really fell in love with. And it is a large home. So, uh, you know, but that's it. That, that's why we moved here. I, and when we first moved in, I, I just said this last week, I think, in a video. I said, oh, I used to say, oh, you're going to have to carry me out of here. This will be it for us. But now we're not feeling like that so much anymore. It's been said we've been in here seven years. And we'll stay in here as long as we can physically handle this house. As long as we can clean it and do the lawn, and Chris can do the lawn and everything outside and we can handle the indoor chores, we will stay with this house. Uh, when we start feeling ourselves, you know, not be so willing... <laughs> to do, you know, to clean a house of this size, we will definitely downsize. So I've always got that in my mind too now as I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to be 60 this year. Uh, yes, I am. I'm going to be 60. And, you know, your priorities change as you, as you grow older. And, 
you know, it, I mean, decorating will always be very, very, very important to me. Uh, but I, I don't, I think Maverick is, he's really brought a new kind of, um, outlook, potential, layer, you know, to our lives. And uh, I, I would like to stay here a little bit longer so that he can experience and have the big yard to play in. And, you know, uh, we thought about putting a pool in and we, we've always said no, but now that Maverick is here, we may, we may do that even, you know. I foresee us being here maybe another decade, Lord willing, you know. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. And, you know, we just take it one day at a time. Sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking of you. That's all we can ask for is one day at a time, right? All right, Nikki. I hope that answered your question, honey. <laughs> All right, number two, Leslie Hill. Hello, Arlen. I hope you are all well. Love everything you do. Uh, I have a question. When did you become friends with Barbara? Oh, and her family. Take care. Stay safe. XX, PS, you deserve to buy yourself that backpack. Oh, <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all for saying that, by the way. <laughs> I do love that backpack. It is so pretty. And thank you guys for all your support with that. That, yes, I'm, I, I'm allowed to buy my own backpack and decide if I want to spend my own money, you know, <laughs> without getting ridiculed. I appreciate y'all saying that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I am the administrator to Alaskan Cruises on Princess Facebook group. And Barbara and her sister, Pat, were both in that group. Now, at first, I didn't realize that they were sisters. So, I believe, I'm trying to think when we met the first time in person. And, but we had known each other for, for a while online. And really gotten to know each other really well, the three of us. Well, I didn't realize that they were sisters. And then one day they were talking back and forth. And I'm like, and what they were saying, you know, kind of set up their sisters. Their sisters are then you dummy. Their sisters, you dummy. Why didn't you realize that, you ding dong? <laughs> So I said, wait a minute, are you two sisters? Yes, we're sisters. I'm like, oh my land. So anyway, we all went on a cruise together and we had a fabulous time. Wasn't we went to the Caribbean. Actually, we went on a Caribbean cruise with another girlfriend and her husband, Barb and Don and, and Pat and Mike. And we all met there. And the four couples, we all cruised together to the Southern Caribbean. So that's the first time I met her in person. But then, as you know, we've cruised together many times. We went on Scott Singer's group cruise. And then Barbara and, uh, and Dawn, let's see, what else? What was after that? Then the three girls, me, Barbara, and her sister Pat, all went on the Mexican Riviera cruise. And y'all saw those videos. So that was fun. And then uh, we went on Scott Singer's. Barb and Dawn and Chris and I went on Scott Singer's group cruise in 2000 and when was that 18 19 and had a wonderful time there and then uh for new zealand we went to to sydney and new zealand together and then we came back to where barb and don live and we spent a week well four four days in their area and went out to dinner every day and they took us to Palm Springs and they took us all around and we had a big time just hanging out with them for that four days and then we climbed on another cruise ship and came home and then Barbara and Dawn of course were here this past summer for a week so uh, we have formed a wonderful friendship uh, even though we are on either coasts on opposite coasts because we are all cruisers we do get the opportunity to that see is, one that is if cruising ever gets up and running again for crying out loud. So, uh, but hopefully that will eventually be the case and we'll be able to see one another again. I was just t texting with Barbara yesterday and I told her, I said, I just miss you all so much. I miss Pat so much. I miss them. They're, they're such sweet spirited ladies and their husbands are so kind. And we all, six of us just bonded. We really just did. We all get along beautifully together. You know, you don't find that often in this, on this earth, you know? So when you do find friendships like that, they need to be nurtured. And, 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 and I hope that, you know, as time moves forward here and hopefully this virus will 
you know, see itself gone eventually, or at least to the point where we can do some traveling, we will all be able to get together again, you know. Barbara and Pat, if you're watching, I love you guys so much and miss you. You know, I have to be honest with you guys. I've been, I this past week, I've been struggling a little bit with this virus. And, um, you know, all the crap that's going on around us. And, you know, I'm hoping that when the vaccines really get up and, and people start getting the vaccines and this, and this, we see a, a switch in the numbers, a change in the numbers. My heart just hurts for all of us around the world who have dealt with this for the, for a year almost, you guys. Well, it has been. It's been a year, you know. And uh, I don't know. It's just gotten to me for the last, I would say the last four or five days. It's really just kind of gotten to me, you know, a little bit. And, you know, and I don't let it get to me for too often or for too too long. You know, I, I, I push it away and I, and I try to turn my eyes, look up and have faith that things are going to, uh, work themselves out and things are going to get better, you know, but I know so many have lost loved ones, so much death, so much of all of that, you know, so anyway. All right. Uh, okay. Enough of that. Oh, sorry. I got a little cry on you there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Number three, this is uh, from Charlene Stevenson. Hey, Charlene. Uh, hi, sweetie. Great job. You tell it just fine. Very pretty. Not sure what she's talking about. <laughs> Nails, do your daughters or cousin ever do or have done before a nail and hair party? That would be a lot of fun. Pray that y'all have a very blessed and prosperous, warm, prosperous and warm weekend. Love you, girl. Unfortunately, Charlene, we had, you know, the ice storm of the ice storms here in our area to the point where I needed to cancel our trip to Stacy's house yesterday. We were gonna be going to celebrate birthdays, February birthdays, and we were under an ice storm warning and it got nasty around here in the afternoon. And I was really glad that we did not go. Uh, not because I didn't wanna go, because I would I missed them so much. And Stacy sent me video and it was fun watching them, but, um, and, and interacting with them that way, you know, but, uh, it was bad here. It was bad here. So we didn't have a very warm weekend. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, have uh, my daughters and and Stacy. Uh, yeah, sometimes we'll do nails and not not necessarily a party, but we'll do nails together. We'll do hair together. We'll do makeup. We'll make each other up. Or uh, Candace love Candace does a beautiful job on her own makeup and on everybody else's makeup. And uh, she's done my aunt's makeup before. And she does her sister's makeup and hair all the time. Candace cuts her own hair. She does, she, Candace is a little jack of all trades, you know. She really is. So she, she I guess if, you know, uh, in this, in my media family, if anybody needs anything done, like in, in the middle, hey, can, can you give me a trim? You know, can you give my hair a trim here? Uh, can you do something with my makeup? Kristen is always the one, you know. She says, Candace, can you do your magic with your makeup? And Kristen is beautiful. Kristen is just beautiful beautiful. Both of my girls are gorgeous, you know, and Candace can really just, she does a wonderful job without looking too made up. You know, it's very natural, very, very natural looking. So, but anyway, so yes, we do Charlene sometimes, but you know, even, you know, family get togethers have been, have waned, you know, in this last year because of COVID and, you know, all of that. And Kristen is very nervous about coming around us. Now that we'll be vaccinated, I think she'll feel better, you know, about coming around us because she's around, you know, the kids all the time. You know, she's a kindergarten teacher. And I think once we're vaccinated, she'll, and she's vaccinated, I think, you know, she'll feel better about coming back over and having, she would always come every weekend, you know, usually on Saturday, she would come, you know, and we do, and she works on our lesson plans and, you know, we do cutting out and crafts and stuff, getting her ready, you know, for whatever. But it's been hard on everybody. It's been so hard on the kids. It's been so hard on the kids. They need to be back in school, y'all. They need to be back in school doing everyday learning, 
everyday learning one-on-one -on -one with their teacher, you know, and having the social interaction and all of that, all of that goes into shaping and molding our children, you know? Anyway, all right, that's it. That's all three questions that I had. Let me, I'm just yammering on about stuff all over the place today, aren't I? Let me go in here and see if I have any questions in my studio. I did check this right before we left for lunch, so I don't think I do. Oh, thank you. What a sweet thing to say, Betty White. My first comment that I see interesting and informative video, and then you have very, you have pretty feminine hands. Well, thank you so much. There they are. They're looking kind of old and wrinkly <laughs> sometimes too, but my nails are holding up pretty well. You know, I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave the hearts on though. You know, I might have to change them out like in a week, you know, after Valentine's day, because it's today's Valentine's day. I don't know. I can leave them on though, I guess, whatever. Uh, let's see. Okay. Go in here to comments. Grandma. Whoa, Grandma, whoa. <laughs> I like to recommend Land's End Light Wet Weight Turtleneck for layering. You know what, Grandma? I did look that up. I looked them up. She said, I have several of them, my go-to. How about a powder blue turtleneck with your new blue vest? <clears throat> and she says, she loves my hauls. Thank you so much, Grandma, who, whoa. Grandma, who, whoa. It's capital W-H-O and then a little A. Uh... I have a question about if they're if they're cut true to size or do I need to size up? Like I'm I'm a true two X right now. Do you think that that would be too tight on me or should I you know should I size up? So let me know your thoughts on that, Grandma. I would really appreciate that and let me know what you think as far as sizing is concerned. Because I was going to order some. They do. They have lovely lovely colors. Lovely lovely lovely. So I did look them up. So let me know about that, would you? And let me know, you know, if you think that they run true to size or you think I would be more comfortable if I sized up. Okay, let's see. Have I heard of Color Street Clear as Day uh, with the nails? I had not, Glenda McLucas. McLucas? She said, have you ever heard of Color Street Clear as Day? It is used as a top coat. Oh, it is just clear strips to put over your colored strips. I started laughing when I saw your nail clips because my grand puppy dog goes crazy and tries to attack them when my daughter-in-law puts them on. My daughter-in-law sells Color Street. Oh, okay. We also got the snow and ice here in Maryland. Ugh, probably will be canceling my son's birthday slash Valentine's party for Sunday. Aw, bless your heart. I'm sorry, Glenda. But no, I will look for those. I will look for Color Street clear as day. Thank you so much for telling me about that. Let's but see. anyway, all right, you guys, I think that's it. That's all of the questions that I have here. So I'll shut that down, and I guess that'll be it. That'll be it for this one, you guys. <laughs> this was kind of an impromptu little video and kind of finished up the living room, you know, the two little uh, crafty items I did here, and that will finish everything up but that other end of the room, which I'll come back with, like I said, probably Wednesday. So I will, here comes Chris out here who is changing the, the, we have a weather stripping type of thing, right? On the bottom of our shower. Ooh, and that's the old one, obviously. <laughs> it's the, we, we've been having trouble cleaning this thing. I, I would have to get like a Clorox wipe and I would go underneath that thing with my, fing, you know, with my little fingers. My fingers are a little lower than his and I was able to smush it up in there. But anyway, he got us a new one. Yay. Stupid shower saws. I hate cleaning those things. Anyway, all right, I digress. <laughs> so let me go into my final words here and say, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, keep an eye on my community post. If you're not in my Facebook group, keep an eye on my community post. I'll try to get a little collage picture up there of some pictures of Mav. And our visit tomorrow, uh, sometime tomorrow. I'll try to get that up tomorrow evening sometime. 
And, uh, and I'll be back with you Tuesday or Wednesday. Just depends on how tired I am after, you know, going Monday and see how I'm feeling on Tuesday. I may come back with something. Uh, but if not Wednesday, for sure, we'll do that decorating in the bay window. So we'll do that for sure. So, all righty, you guys, with all that said, thank you guys so, so much for, for watching. Thank you for all of your comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know I've not been getting been able to get back to you in my Facebook group very much. And, uh, or on YouTube very much. I try to answer questions when I'm asked, but uh, please know I re try to read everything and I appreciate every single one of you guys, every one of you guys. Alrighty, thanks for watching you guys. Bye-bye.